Chapter 3 SWOT Analysis and the Three Strategic Questions Tom Hinthorne Analysts use the SWOT analysis to identify the firm's strengths, S, weaknesses, W, opportunities, O, and threats, T. Strengths and weaknesses are associated with the firm's internal environment and are to some degree manageable by the firm, for example, human resources. Opportunities and threats are associated with the firm's external environment and are beyond the control of the firm, although adaptation may be possible. Today, the SWOT analysis is one of several tools available to business analysts, it is widely taught in business schools. It continues to offer value-added opportunities to analysts, and it is equally applicable to for-profit and non-profit firms. However, its analyses tend to be qualitative and difficult to quantify, which makes rigorous application imprecise. The purpose of the SWOT analysis is to use the strengths of the firm to capitalize on opportunities, diminish threats, and reduce weaknesses, for example, fill resource gaps. J. Barney traces the analysis of the firm's strengths, that is, resources and capabilities, and weaknesses to the work of Edith Penrose, 1959, whose analyses underlie the resource-based view, RBV, of the firm. One comma two other writers have traced the linking of strengths and weaknesses, that is, SW, and opportunities and threats, that is, OT, to the work of Kenneth Andrews, 1971. 3. The SWOT analysis is typically an analytical platform for creating strategic plans. Ultimately, the firm seeks to answer three strategic questions, where is the firm now? Where does it want it to be in 5 to 10 years? How does it plan to get it there? Question mark 4. In the 1950s, 1960s, and 1970s, many large firms developed central planning operations, and the planning process was relatively formal and systematic. Analysts called this approach the Rational Design School, and the SWOT analysis was associated with this school. In ensuing years, as planning environments became more turbulent and unpredictable, senior management delegated more of the planning to its strategic business units and reduced or eliminated its central planning operations. Increasingly, Analysts saw strategy as being crafted through some instinctive experiential-based process emerging out of the weekly coordinated decisions of multiple organizational members. 5,6 analysts called this approach the emergent process school. Today, depending on the circumstances, both approaches have merit. This chapter develops in four parts. First, to make it instructive and interesting it focuses on the Northrop Grumman Corporation, NGC, and its primary target market, the U.S. Department of Defense, DOD. Second, the chapter focuses on the external environment of the firm and the assessment of opportunities and threats facing NGC and the industry. This is the top-down, big-picture context for subsequent analyzes. Third, the chapter focuses on the internal environment of NGC and the assessment of its strengths and weaknesses. Last, to show how the SWOT analysis structures the planning process, the chapter considers how NGC might answer the three strategic questions. The time of the SWOT analysis is late 2010-early 2011.